Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to uh, an episode that... So I haven't done any uh, personal vlog entries for quite a while now, many, many months. Uh, and I had thought maybe I would stop doing these. But um, I wanted to, it was time for an update, and I didn't really want to make an episode that was an update episode. I don't think you guys like the update episodes too terribly much. Um, they they uh, they get far less views than the other episodes. People sort of skip over them. People don't seem to care. So uh, I'm going to label this one as personal vlog entry, uh, so that that way um, <laughs> it'll definitely definitely get lots less views. Um, and the people who can can skip over all this stuff and don't really give a damn about what we're trying to do here uh, don't have to have the time wasted. So um, so obviously, uh, if you haven't watched any of the previous personal vlog entries, uh, this is a little bit more um, rambling. I heard that. They're all rambling. Come on. Um, this, is, this one's a little bit more... Uh, these are for me. This is... When I started doing this series, the beginning of, the, uh, beginning of 2019, I... Um, I my my idea was to do this to do this daily series and through the process uh, hopefully try to get people interested in joining me in this thing that I was trying to build uh, and then and then do a personal entry every Sunday where uh, I would basically give an update on on this on the status of the project and and how things are going now at the start of the year the goal was to be in production on the first project. Uh, written by the writers' room trial, the trial writers' room group um, by June. <laughs> it is now October as I record this, um, and not only are we not in production, we haven't got the script done yet. Um, in part because I have taken about four months away from the group. Um, simply because we were not making the progress we needed to make, in my opinion. Um, and I just did not have enough hours in the day to do all the other stuff that I needed to do. So, so as a, I guess as a recap and update for what happened and where things are. So the, the, the goal here with this daily prompt video series originally was, uh, to, was to basically vlog my experience trying to build an independent film studio from the ground up. So uh, I've been, as I'm sure you've heard too many times on this channel and from me in general, uh, I've been trying to build an indie, indie film studio for about 20 years now. Um, couldn't find material to produce, so started trying to help writers to learn how to develop stuff that we could produce. Uh, that turned into a, a workshop, that turned into a couple other workshops, uh, that turned into <laughs> me getting burnt out. That turned eventually into me building fast screenplay, um, which definitely turned into me getting burned out. Um, and so at a certain point, I realized the fatal flaw in, in all every single screenwriting resource that exists anywhere. Uh, and that is that uh, when you're done, they just wave and send you on your way. Um, there's no sort of accountability with it. So uh, what I wanted to do was on the end of fast screenplay, build a uh, production module. In theory, I'm claiming that writers go through this fast screenplay system and have pro-level skills and can succeed in any situation. And by the way, that's that's true. Uh, the reason that's true is because it's hard. The reason that's true is because it replicates the it replicates the experience of doing it on your own. Uh, it replicates it and condenses it. So instead of taking 10 years to, to gradually figure this stuff out, we, I figured out how to sort of meticulously condense it into about a year. Uh, and then it's challenging. You know, it starts off really simple, but as it goes and as it builds, uh, it becomes challenging. And writers don't um, follow through. They, they don't, they don't uh, persist with it necessarily, just as in life. Um, as in life, they quit along the way. They write a couple projects. They don't get any traction. They go, this is impossible. I'm going to do something else with my life. And, you know, so something similar happens on a, on a maybe compressed time scale uh, in fast screenplay. And so, you know, just I needed some way to get writers all the way through the process to have all these skills. But in theory, at the end of it, you have all these skills. And if you have all these skills at the end of it, then uh, why don't we go make films? And, and in that way, create an incentive for writers to go through and learn all these skills, go through and develop all these skills. Um, go through and, and um, you know, get, 
get the thing that most writers do not persist in getting. Uh, because once you once you've written something that's gone into production, you have a whole new layer of perspective and ideas and insights. Uh, the 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 reality of taking something from the page and, and making it three dimensional space and actors and motion and and how that affects the writer's creative process when they go back and they then apply this process and they and they learn how to infuse that those lessons into their creativity um they create better stuff a, a, a writer who has been produced a few times um is going to instinctively intuitively create more viable content so why not uh why not create why not why not use that as our um why not why not use that as the reason to build the indie film studio so so build an indie film studio for the writers um anyway that's the goal that's 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 the idea my what i thought when i set out on this series was um that i would start doing these daily prompts people would go oh, this is really good <laughs> and they would share the videos and tell other people about it um get super excited themselves and then hopefully some small percentage of people watching those who who could were in a position to would join us uh then as they go through this process um we would be working on our first couple of projects uh and and <laughs> um by the time we finished our first couple of projects those writers would have gone through the system and be ready to join us in the writers room themselves and then we would go on and make films and in theory my hope is that you know the money that they invested in in the system that i offer at cost uh gets way more than made back uh through proceeds and profits because they get a they get a gross percentage gross not net gross percentage of the of the films that they write um unfortunately i you know it hasn't worked out that way so there's a couple things first of all i think me talking like to you like this um is friggin boring i think this is i'm not particularly uh i'm not a particularly great looking person if i was a supermodel and i you know whatever people could be more a little more excited about watching just a talking head video um i don't have the time to to produce um super elaborate or more entertaining videos so it really just is a talking head so so i don't know that there's a huge demand for watching <laughs> 20 15 to 20 minute half hour sometime talking head videos every day of of a guy talking about screenwriting and creativity um and as a result our view numbers have always been low um which had and there's a core group of people and you guys who are anyone who's watching this is probably part of that core group so thank you for watching uh there's a core group that's super excited about all this and and i thank you and your feedback and your comments really gives me the juice to keep going but um but it's not expanding it's not growing it's not people aren't sharing it people aren't you know posting links to any of these videos on screenwriting message boards or or sharing stuff via email with other writers that they know so so as a result these numbers stay very low uh and we're sort of talking to ourselves along the way unfortunately that doesn't bring more people into fast screenplay the, the big challenge that they have and i made a video recently called uh, the hole i dug uh, about this when I first sort of came back to doing these again. Um, the, the problem that I have is that when I when I first created Fast Screenplay, Fast Screenplay is this enormous, comprehensive, gargantuan thing. It really is, it really is a three-year university program rolled up into less than a year. Uh, and there there is that much detail and that much complexity to it. And the whole idea was you know, in Australia, you, you spend 20, 30 grand on a, on a three-year university program in screenwriting. Why don't we offer more than that in, in one year for a thousand box tops? You know, that was the idea. Um, there's not enough interest in it so far. And, and it's simply because I haven't spread the, um, it's simply because we haven't, we haven't widened the net, I would say. Because I thought this was going to organically grow. I thought that that tiny little percentage of people that would want to join us would organically grow with it. So it's still, it was always going to be a tiny percentage. It's probably only ever going to be 
probably 10% max of people who would watch these videos would join us in the system. I, and I totally understand that, not a problem. But if the numbers stay small, <laughs> then that number's not growing. Then so the, the problem that I have is, so to make the movies through the writer's room, through the production module at the end, the to make those movies has nothing to do with the, with the revenue generated by Fast. The revenue generated by Fast pays for fast it pays for the people to go through fast the problem that i have is that we're 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 always behind the eight ball on fast so the when i when i initially started pricing all this when i created it initially the idea was people are going to go through a small handful are going to go make films with us we'll make our money on making the films so i'm literally going to offer the system at cost which is a i believe a great idea it's it's in sync with my um you know i don't want to charge writers i don't want to make money off of writers it, it, it's in sync with my sort of philosophical approach to all this the problem is that if there's not this steady stream of new people joining us then we it becomes a it becomes we lose money um and losing money you can only do for so long so we have i have to keep sort of pushing to to generate new people the problem is that i hate selling and if I was happy to just go out and sell, 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 or like, you can do it, you know, by now, um, then this would be a whole different situation. Um, I really wanted this thing to, to grow organically. I really wanted this thing to, um, I wanted it to, you know, take off like wildfire on its own because it deserves to, in my opinion, obviously. Um, a lot of people don't think it does. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, we have haters like everybody else. Um, but, uh, so if it doesn't take off on its own, then it mean it, what it does is it forces me to keep having to put my attention into how do I keep this thing afloat, right? We've made, you know, we've got, we've got lots of writers in the group who are lifetime access, who deserve to be taken care of. They've, they joined. Um, I'm here for them. I'm not going to ever abandon anybody. But it does take time away from then the other expansion efforts, right? The idea of the writer's room, the idea of the production module, all that. So, um, so what we end up with is a situation where I have had because this show didn't, you know, grow organically the way I had imagined that it would probably on me i'm probably not tagging these things correctly i'm probably not putting the right uh thumbnails or or titles or whatever i just don't have any more time to do it than than what i put into it started started asking reaching out saying hey if you want to join me let me know you want to help out let me know uh those efforts led nowhere <laughs> as those as similar efforts in the past have led nowhere so fair enough um, I, I don't want to put it on anybody else. At the end of the day, I'm trying to build this thing from scratch. And so when you try to build something from scratch, literally from zero, um, it's always going to be hard. It's always going to be challenging. You're going to have to get over those initial humps. And how? Don't know. Um, don't know. So um, so where are we now? So where, where we are now is uh, I'm... Throughout all this, because of the frustration of that and the amount of time that I had to put into fast and into maintaining fast and to try to uh, keep building fast because the this show wasn't growing organically, I had to put time into that, which meant having to take time away from that trial writers group, uh, trial writers room group. Um, and so that started to sputter. Initially thought it was and maintained that it, that half of that group wasn't quite ready for being there. Uh, the other half of the group is still waiting for me to take the lead. And it's um, we have nailed down the story. We have the stories. Cool. I'm so I'm ah, I want desperately to get into production on this on this movie. I think this is the coolest movie. I'm so excited. It's right in sync with what I want to do. Um, but creating you know, talking to the other writers who maybe don't see my vision quite as clearly as I do. And fair enough, this is our first project. That's always going to be a challenge that you face. Um, 
it, it's it sort of falls onto my shoulders. If if it falls onto my shoulders, and I and as a way to demonstrate what we want to do for the next projects, I have said that I should probably take the lead on this first project, sort of sort of establish a template or or establish a a working framework so that it's it's a bit clearer what we want for those future projects. Um, if I'm busy doing the fast stuff, I'm busy trying to build and, and really maintain, keep it all running. Uh, it just takes time away from that. I had a, a year ago, had a kid. <laughs> um, and I would say, I would say, ironically, the one uh, upside to this whole thing not taking off yet uh, is that I have been able to put time into my kid and I'm super excited about that. I wouldn't change that for the world. Um, he's now over, he's like 14 months old at this point. And, and, um, you know, I feel like we've had an awesome first year and, and that's great. And I'm so glad to be, I'm so glad to have that formative year. Um, I, I can start to also see how moving forward to maintain that connection with my son, but also build this thing that I'm trying to build. I think maybe last year, I, the two were quite separate. And now I'm seeing how you can fuse those things. Um, side note, um, that was always my fear of having kids was like, it's going to be one or the other. You have a kid, you're going to put all your energy into the kid. You're, you're going to necessarily let your own dream slip away. But the reality of having kids is you can have both. You keep doing your, your dream becomes more important because you want to you want to prove to your kid um, <laughs> that uh, how important dreams are and how important pursuing them is and and what those things mean, all that stuff. So anyway, my my <laughs> back to back to this. So the challenge that I have is that at the moment there's probably three to four days a week where I have about six hours to put into all this stuff. Um, that's not a lot of time. And so, uh, so what we're, so where I'm at at the moment is, uh, as I record this, we did a seven steps webinar a couple weeks ago, last week, a couple weeks ago, um, where, uh, I wanted to start iterating this thing just to figure out how to just get this done. My goal is to have a permanent seven steps webinar available to anyone who comes and visits the website so they can watch the webinar, they can get an understanding that which they can go off and use on their own, or they can see the value of what I've built. Um, that's what I'm trying to put together now. That's, that's where my time has to go now because without that and then without some, um, you know, Facebook ads or whatever other advertising that we do, um, to to try to reach writers who'd be right for this for what we've built uh to spread that to grow those numbers to have that small percentage of people that covers those costs once that thing's humming along on its own and i don't have to um you know it doesn't it's not quite as demanding of my daily attention that's when i can put my attention back into uh making the making the films and so we're going to be in about two weeks going, doing, uh, getting back together with the writers room group, the trial writers room group, um, and trying to knock out this script project. My hope still is to try to shoot this thing before the end of the year. Not sure if that's going to happen simply because of the time and money limitations that we have at the moment, but that's the goal. Um, whether we get there or not, I think is ultimately secondary to, uh, continuing to push forward. One of the things that I try to tell the people who are going through fast, one of the things that I try to convey to the people watching this series um, is the only way you're ever going to get to your goal is by persisting, um, having patience when things don't go your way, adapting to uh, setbacks that you have and and re reestablishing the strategy, taking a new tack if it's necessary, but persisting, c continuing to take action, continuing to, to try to move forward. I feel like this year, at the beginning of this year, I was so excited about the series because I was, I really, really believed that this would be, I believe that this would get people excited about it. You know, it's funny, I go back and watch some of those early episodes 
uh, just to try to make sure I'm not making a whole bunch of new episodes that are just repeating all my old episodes. Um, and, you know, I had that cough at the beginning of the year. That was super distracting. Um, I feel like I've gotten better at doing all this stuff with the episodes. I'm, I know these are rambly, but I think the, the non-vlog entry episodes are maybe a bit more uh, succinct. I'm trying to talk a little faster and, and nail the points a little bit more clearly. I don't know. You tell me, honestly. It's I, I can't tell. Um, it's hard for me to be objective about looking at my own stuff. Um, but... Still, it's a little frustrating that it that it didn't take off the way that I wanted it to take off, in part because the 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 ongoing strategy was was designed on the assumption that it would. Actually, this is maybe the real point. And and now that I'm saying it, I'm wondering if I should make a whole video about this. If I do, sorry for my future. Um, <laughs> being repetitive. Um, I think part of the part of the thing that we the part of the thing that gets us stuck in our pursuit of something like screenwriting or building an indie film studio or some grand ambition that we have is that when we strategize, we we we, we, we build a linear progression, right? So I'm going to write the script. Then with that script, I'm going to open this door. And with that open door, I'm going to connect with this person. And when I connect with this person, it's going to lead to this, blah, blah, blah. We, we strategically see that linear progression. Um, so if, if the first step doesn't work out, the whole thing falls like a house of cards and um and that can be very dispiriting that can be very um uh soul crushing i guess would be the <laughs> melodramatic way to put it um and i, I feel like that's kind of how i felt when i when i put the daily videos here on on pause was i really felt like the house of cards was falling down because the initial thing wasn't working uh, and people didn't seem to care. And I would have all these people, I had a dozen people sending me these long, we would have these long email conversations and stuff. And, uh, you know, a couple of them now looking back, stringing me along, <laughs> like they, they just wanted to have the private conversation and sort of circumvent what I'm building. Um, <sighs> disrespectful and and lesson learned anyway um i think the okay let's bring it back to it <laughs> um when i took about three months off from this series thinking that that just didn't work i'm not doing that anymore um it was because I was I was very dispirited by this strategy thing not not working the way that I had in mind. When I was away from it for a couple of months, I missed it. I missed putting out there my ideas. I don't know if you guys like what I these videos that I make. You know, we get a lot of views. We get if you get 150 views and you get like 15 likes or something, it's like 10%. We never get more than 10% of people clicking that they like or commenting or engaging in some way. So there's, there's a, not a lot of people, but there's a fair few people that are, more people are watching and not engaging than engaging. And for those people, I have no idea. Maybe they don't like any of this or they're just sort of watching suspiciously or <laughs> who knows. Um, but I don't know if those people are getting value out of it. I don't know if everyone who's watching is getting value out of it. I know that I want everyone watching to get value out of it. Um, and I know that it's important for me to put these words out there and uh, give shape to this, uh, in part just sometimes to lay claim to my ideas and uh, sometimes to, to just reinforce that, you know, this is what we're trying to build. I really wish that... Um, I really wish that people wanted to join me on the vision. Uh, I don't know that that's ever going to happen and, and I'm okay with that. Uh, but 
because I don't know that that's ever going to happen, I have to take care of, um, I have, I have to keep the lights on. I have to, um, I have to, I have to find some way to get people to, to, to join fast screenplay so that, um, so that that thing can, I can't run off and make a movie, <laughs> even if it's a no budget movie, I can't run off and spend two months making that while the rest of it falls apart. Uh, and so I have to put energy into making sure it doesn't fall apart. Um, originally that was just going to be this series at the beginning of the year that didn't work. And so I've had to really stop and figure out how am I going to do that? And, uh, the way, the way that I believe at this point to do that is through the webinar, through redesigning the front end of the website, through, um, putting ads out there, people who watch Facebook videos, no disrespect intended to anyone watching Facebook videos, but a lot of people who are going to stumble upon these Facebook videos, uh, these YouTube videos are, uh, are, are looking for free information. So people looking for free information are not always the same people who are going to pay to sign up for something, even if paying to sign up for something is merely covering my costs. <laughs> um, so, uh, fair enough. I want to talk to both. I want to talk to the people who are in, in it for the free information too. Like maybe they have great stories and great movies uh, that they can write that we can make at some point down the down the line. Initially, I have to focus on the people who can help me pay the bills. So, um, so that's where we're at. Uh, so anyway, so where's this all going to go? First of all, this video is going to get lost in the mix. So <laughs> that's why uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing these personal vlog entries, but I like the the round number of 12. Uh, so I definitely thought this would be the way to go for this. Um, but uh, one thing that I will say, if you're, if you're, if you've stuck around and I haven't bored the crap out of you right now, or even if I have bored the crap out of you and you're still sticking around, <laughs> thank you. Um, <clears throat> these are for me anyway, for, to look back at it at some point in my future. Um, when I, I'm going to persist. Uh, I'm going to make this happen. It's not, it, 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 I'm going to get there. And there are a lot of people along the way who have been very naysayery to me <laughs> and, uh, and who have over the past 10 years been very naysayery to me. And I, I keep all that and I remember all that. Um, and I, I, I use that as fuel sometimes, you know, people telling me that I can't achieve something. Um, <laughs> it, if you, if you have had a dream all your life since you were a tiny little kid, um, you're not going to give up just cause things get hard. Things get, things are difficult. Um, it sucks to have people, by email or comments or whatever tell you well you know we don't know if this is going to work out so mm, prove it first <laughs> it's like that's what i'm trying to do um but one way or another uh i will succeed i will build this indie film studio and the writers who are going through and who are persisting will be the ones that i'll work with and uh i'm there's a, there's a great group of people in there going through pushing, persisting against all odds. Um, and we're going to make films together, you and I. Um, so anyway, that's the update. If it doesn't happen as quickly as I said, if it doesn't happen as quickly as I wanted it to, there's the reason why. Because I stupidly charged only cost and <laughs> didn't, didn't leave enough profit in it to cover me through the lean times. So, um, so yeah, please don't anticipate that our movie will be ready anytime in 2019. Um, my hope is to shoot it before the end of the year, but even if it doesn't happen that way, uh, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll start up with the, with the Facebook ads. We'll start up with the webinars. We'll start, uh, targeting people who might be right for all this. And, um, Maybe it'll all turn around. We'll see. I don't know. Stick around. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, even if that's the last vlog entry you ever watch again. Because, wow, that was boring. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.